Hey guys, what's up? Thomas here. Today we're going to be talking about the movie Moonlight from director Barry Jenkins. It's a great film. I saw it twice this past week and you should all go see it in theaters while it's still out. Today we're going to be doing a film study and I wanted to choose a frame from the trailer that has some really cool cinematography from the cinematographer James Laxton. So Moonlight takes place in Liberty City, which is near Miami where I grew up. And I have to say they captured the look of the city perfectly. In the frame we're going to be using, Juan is driving Chiron back to his house. What we've got here is natural light coming into the car interior from about a 10 o'clock or noon scenario where the light is coming at a slight angle from almost directly above. This creates an entire shadow for the interior of the car and allows bounce light to light the faces of the characters as well as creating a harsh contrast between the shadows and the lights. We're going to follow a process that's pretty simple here. I'm going to start with the line, then I'm going to introduce the local colors, then I'm going to introduce the shadows. Essentially, up to that point, I'm going to have painted this entire scene in the dark. After that, we're going to introduce the lights and the bounce lights, and all that together is going to create the final image. So let's get started. For this first step, I'm going to be doing the line drawing. You can see I'm starting with Little's head and with the background of the car, trying to get the framing right. And this isn't necessary that it's perfect. It can always be adjusted later, but you want to get a good general sense of the structures. You can see I'm blocking out the side of the face of Juan to try and understand where the planes of the face are. I've also blocked in a couple areas of light where I'm going to put the lights and shadows so I know where to separate them. After that, we're going to do the local colors. The local colors are the true color of an object. So if something is pure black, it's pure black. If something is blue, it's the true blue, as if it were under no lighting scenario. It wasn't affected by light or shadow. The tool I'm using to do this is all just the freeform pen tool. So if you go to the pen, go to freeform pen tool after holding down on the tool preset for a little bit, you'll see that the freeform pen tool allows you to make a shape and it automatically fills it in. This is easier than using a lasso tool and then filling it in with the paint bucket tool every single time and switching tools. It just takes too much effort to go through and do all those button presses. So I think in Photoshop CS6 and above it's changed, but for Photoshop CS5, which is what I'm using, you can use the free form pen tool and just hit enter and it'll just fill that with whatever your uh, primary color selected is. After blocking in the local colors, I'm putting in the shadow sides for all the characters' faces. Even though the light's above, we're still gonna get a strongest shadow side on the right side of their face. And even though it looks harsh now, I'm going to blend it out with brush strokes later. I'm going to go through all the car details and put all the shadows and reflections a little bit in the car. And what's cool is that you can kind of break this step down to an abstract shape. Alberto Mielgo talks about this in his Trojan Horse Was a Unicorn presentation. If you guys look that up, it's called The Talk. I'll leave a link for it right here. What's awesome is you can break down all the surfaces to abstract shapes of what they are and what you see rather than trying to render it extremely accurately and trying to understand every single reflection. As long as the values and colors are in the right place, it should look great. I should also emphasize that the goal of this piece is to learn. I'm not trying to reproduce this one for one and make a perfect copy of it. I'm just trying to understand why the hell is this lighting so good and why am I so attracted to it. After putting in all these car details and blurring the background, I've kept those layers separate so that I can work on them and not affect the layers above. Now I can add a gradient for that blue in the windshield, and what's cool about that blue in the windshield is it's going to cast that blue color down onto Juan's hand as well. So we'll get that reflectivity going on, and that bounce light is going to come in right now. After all the shadows have been put in, you can start putting in all your lights. This includes bounce lights. The way bounce light works is that it is light that is bouncing off a surface and then affecting another surface because the light ray has bounced off an object. In cases of metallic objects, they get really reflective, but in this case, their skin is really humid and wet because it's Miami and it's like swimming through the air there. So their skin is really reflective and it's picking up a lot of that light and that blue. After introducing all these lights, we can go to the harshest lights. So this is an area that I love in this piece. 
James Laxton was amazing to be able to capture this. And I think that white highlight on the shirt and Juan's skin on the side closest to the sun is amazing. It just it creates such contrast and it, your eye just goes straight to Juan's face because of it. It's almost like a, a draw towards his character and who also Chiron is looking at. So we as viewers are looking in the same direction as the main character here and we're looking at a mentor character in Juan. The last thing I'm going to do before wrapping up is kind of just an adjustment layer of this kind of off green yellow and that kind of just warms everything up and ties all the colors together. And with that, I learned everything I needed to in this piece. I was able to get the information, understand the lighting, and understand the framing of the scenario and why that cinematography works. I hope this was helpful for your own film studies. And again, go watch Moonlight. It's drop dead amazing. If this video helped you out, feel free to subscribe, leave a like. I'm putting out as many tutorials as I can. And if you guys want to flip through some of the others, here they are. See you next time.